Hello and welcome to X Talks Vitals, home to the latest life science, medical device, and food industry news. I'm Sonia Hunt. The CDC is keeping a close eye on a new COVID-19 variant called BF7. The incident of the new variant has been rapidly increasing in the U.S. over the past several weeks. Here's Aisha Rashid with the story. Thank you for the introduction, Sonia. As health authorities prepare for a new wave of COVID-19 this fall, a new variant of the coronavirus has arrived on the scene. The variant, called B5217 or BF7 for short, is an offshoot of the Omicron subvariant BA5, which is currently the dominant SARS-CoV-2 variant in the U.S. The CDC is especially concerned about BF7 because cases of it have been on the sharp rise in the U.S. over the past month, having doubled from 0.8% to 1.7% in a span of just two weeks. As of October 7, 2022, BF7 accounted for 3.4% of all new COVID infections nationally. As with most newer variants of concern, BF7 appears to be more transmissible than Omicron and other circulating Omicron subvariants. The severity of disease that BF7 causes remains unknown, but experts say it's likely to be similar to other Omicron subvariants, all of which have been similar in severity. BF7 was first reported by the CDC as part of BA5 cases this summer. The health agency was compelled to place it in its own category recently when cases topped 1%. While BF7 has only gained momentum in the U.S. in the past month, it has already taken a strong foothold in other countries. Belgium currently has the majority of BF7 cases worldwide at over 25%, while Denmark, Germany, and France have around 10% of the world's total cases. The good news is that both Pfizer and Moderna now have bivalent mRNA vaccines designed to target both the original strain of the virus and Omicron, including the Omicron subvariants BA4 and BA5. However, it is unknown exactly how effective they will be against BF7 specifically. Back to you, Sonia. Thank you, Aisha, for that story. That's it for today's show. Visit xtalks.com for more information on this story and click the link in the description below to find out more about our featured life science webinar for this episode. How a single protein tag provides a platform for key processes in antibody production. Join us again for all your life science, medical device, and food industry news on xtalks.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the XTalks YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and click the notification button to stay tuned for more.